are back with Maximum Carnage, part 5 of 14, The Spectacular Spider-Man, number 201. Spider-Man, Spidey and Venom together? There's more than one way to kill the cat. Again, another great exciting cover that got me picking up. Not as good as the last one, but this, but this one is good too. You have Carnage trying to kill Black Cat. Even Venom is racing to the rescue. It's it's just great. And 40 years of 30 years of the event. Good night. Uh, there were a lot of things that had anniversaries just as I started reading comics. I never realized just how fortunate I was that about the age when I started reading comics at the library and picking them up at the local grocery store because Marvel had a ton of events like within a couple of years of my that really primed me into it. Bitten by a radioactive spider, student Peter Parker gained the proportional strength and agility of an arachnid. Armed with his wondrous web shooters, the reluctant superhero struggles with, uh, with sinister supervillains, making ends meet and maintaining some semblance of a normal life. Stan Lee presents The Spectacular Spider-Man, J.M. Dimitri. He's a writer. Sal Bushimi, a artist. And we're seeing nothing but fire. If you remember, Black Cat was called a Birdie Billy that was falling down. So was, uh, so was Venom last time as Carnage and his gang got away. Vowing to kill as many people as possible. Can't wait. Can't wait. While well, that moron makes up his mind, feels like someone dropping a building on me. Can hardly move, but it just said people are dying out there, and someone's got to protest. Oh. Brock! Eddie! Not dead. If that's what you're hoping, just need a minute to get our strength back. Good. Yeah, right. What about Carnage? Did you nail him? What? Of course not. I wasn't going to leave Felicity in there to roast. Are you crazy? One of us is, but I don't think it's me. She doesn't m matter. None of us matters. Only thing that's important is protecting the innocent. Stopping those animals from murdering again. Far as I'm concerned, turning my back on Felicity on either one of you would have been murder. No, insect. What we're, we're about to do, to... Don't you. Now that's murder. Stop. You really are a piece of work, Brock. You get mad at Spider-Man for saving me, then waste time trying to bash his head in while those maniacs get farther and farther away? Why, you arrogant little pussycat, no one talks to us that way. We'd eat you up and spit out your bones if it weren't for the fact that you're right. Uh, we suddenly went wacky sitcom on you. But da 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 boing. So let's get moving, kitties and kitties. Kitties? That's hard to say five times fast, by the way. Kitties and kitties, 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 kitties and kitties. See? Felicia. Wait, did Venom know that she was Felicia Hardy? Come on. Do you really think it's a good idea to tell him? Her secret identity? Are you up to this? Are you okay? I'm fine. And frankly, I would have been fine without your help. Huh? You think I have some fragile little... No! You had a wall falling on you and you had just been hit with a blast from a Sonic-based killer and you were complaining about your leg hurting. This wasn't a sexism thing. 
and this wasn't him not trusting you. There was a flaming wall coming down, and you yourself just said he saved you. See? Uh, okay, I'm not going to say anything. I don't want to upset any shippers. I've had enough shippers wrath come down on me on Twitter lately. That was... Sent me. So, Felicia decides that her life doesn't mean a thing in comparison to going after Carnage after all. And so, she and Venom take off. Idiots. <laughs> Peter is the, is the leader of this group and he knows what he's doing. You, frankly, don't. You have a madman whose only, who's only strategy is to eat the enemy, and you, who don't know a thing about them and are lowfully outmatched, Felicia. This is a bad idea. You, you couldn't take them. Even with the surprise help of Cloak, you, you weren't able to hold them. Comfy, honey? You're some... Long as I'm close to you, sweetie, I'm the happiest little gal in New York. You're some kind of woman, Shriek. I think I'm going to go out and get you a brand new people skin coat. That's what I love about you, Carnage. You're all heart. Stupid, useless... Prowl. Why aren't we mapping out our course of action? Of following our plans. Uh, because Carnage doesn't make plans. He's basically he's basically a more bloodthirsty version of the Joker. What a what little plan what few plans he has go straight out the window the moment the killing starts. I don't hear what I I didn't just hear what I thought I heard, did I? That religious fanatic? Demo gobble Demi -go Demo Goblin, he Demo Goblin, he didn't really use the P word, did he? You heard correctly. We cannot keep on like this, so randomly, without purpose, without plan. Come on, we're in part five. It's time we started finding a plot. He said it again. Listen to me. You refugee from a pumpkin patch, and listen good. Listen, because I've only got to say this once. There is no plan! My life is meaningless. Chaos. <coughs> the universe has no center. Its creator is a drooling idiot. So repeat after me. The only purpose is no purpose. The only plan is no plan. <coughs> now I've got to get that Harvey Dent. I mean, Spider-Man. I forgot which Lord of Chaos, which type of chaotic villain I was for a minute there. I reject your twisted gospel, Carnage. The universe is nothing but pattern and plan. A plan veil from us by the sins of a corrupted world. What? I thought you understood what our little carnage carnival was all about. I thought that's why you signed on with Roly with rolling the rolling this rolling thunder revenue. I signed on because mankind is thinking with sin and enjoying forces with you. I can redeem it, purifying it with fire and blood. Now I warn you. Unhand me or Garouche. That wasn't very smart, sweet cakes. Sure it was. If it'll stop you both from doing something you'll regret later. Regret? You think I'd regret offing this brimstone bozo? Carnage. Till now we've all been so alone with our burdens and our suffering, but now now we've each we've each got each other. We can share the things in life that matter most to us. Like torn flesh. 
broken bones, and screams of unbearable pain. You're, you've sure got away with words, babe. Indeed, indeed. Our purposes do seem to intersect. I will restrain my righteous wrath for now. There he goes again with this purpose. There is no purpose, you twit. Get the th throw your hollow head. It's like every Twitter post ever. Carnage, carnage. He just doesn't understand. He doesn't have your exper experience, your wisdom. And with a teacher like you, he'll learn. Think of him. Um, think of both of them as your sons. You can now mold them in your own image, shape their character, lead them um, into manhood. Oh, they'll make you so proud. Well, when you put it like that. But hey, if Demo, Go if Demo Goblin and that little spider geek are my kids, what does that make you? Use your imagination, lover. Yum. Now, how would my honey bunny like a big glass of milk and some Girl Scout cookies, huh? Of course, we have to go kill a few dozen. Of course, we have to go kill a few dozen Girl Scouts first. I hate to bake without fresh ingredients. That's my little shriek. Gosh, you've gotten got a lover. Peter, are you sure you're all right? You keep wincing and you're in pain. You're in pain. So yeah, now he's back with Aunt May. And yeah. And then, yep, some inspirational words what he talks about at the end. And talking to his father who again will not matter. And uh, then, strip away from me. We see a we see a montage of Carnage and his and his little twisted family he's formed, going on a rampage. And then the demigod blows up a helicopter, and well, yeah, everything's falling apart. We're too late. A few minutes and look, look at what he's done. But it's only a few minutes since he heard that report about Carnage's Fifth Avenue rampage. All these innocents murdered by my offspring and his pack of wild dogs. This has to stop. This has to stop. And we will stop it, but we can't do it alone. Cloak, you're back. I apologize for my disappearance after I teleported from the warehouse, but since Dagger's death, I've been experiencing periods of dizziness, weariness. I needed some time to gather my energies. You lost the person you love most in all the world, and you're, er, and you've been going without sleep, without rest for nearly two days. It's no wonder you needed time for. Time? Idiots! We don't have any time. If you're too weak to keep up with us, Cloak, then bail out now. I have no intention of bailing out, Venom. But I meant what I said before. If you were going to stop Carnage, Shriek, and the rest, we'll need reinforcements. Agreed. Well, reinforce the top. The toughest, most vicious bunch will recruit the toughest, most vicious bunch of fighters we can find. And we'll crush Carnage's gang like the cockroaches they are. But remember, Cassidy is mine. Hello. And, uh, but honey, I heard this was a wonderful restaurant. Wonderful tofu and steamed vegetables. You call that wonderful? Yeah, I'm with him. Shut up. You never get to pick a restaurant again. Uh, sir, if you don't like it, you have, uh, 
allegedly take it back to the kitchen. I'll have allegedly take it back to the kitchen. Don't bother, punk. As the Romans often observed, if you don't like the food, kill the waiters. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah, I read you that. Sorry, you are disappointed, honey. But lots of a band guys I used to hang with in my group. In my in groupy days, eat here. Don't sweat it, sweet cakes. I had fun slicing and dicing all the customers. The only thing to do with vegetarians, really. But if we don't find some something to eat soon, I'm gonna get all narpa narcolep. I oh glycemic, and when that happens, well, I start to get real testy. While we wasted our time here, the word that our colony has spread. The streets are near deserted. The sinners are dying. We must root them out. Make them suffer. Make them burn. For once, Vincent Price here is right. We gotta find some greener pastures, huh? Hey, <laughs> you keep out of this. Don't yell at the boy, dear. Sorry, Snookums. It's just that something, sometimes being a father is such a thankless job. Then let's do something to cheer you up. Gothing? Nope. A hike in the country? Uh-uh. Slaughter and mayhem? Bingo. Then let's gather up the kitties and get to the station wagon and be on our way. You know, Carney, I'm really beginning to like family life. Me too. Now I know what I was missing all those years in the orphanage. Well, honey, if being a hubby and daddy really turns you on, maybe we should have a few more kids. Seeing dad like that made me realize the kind of pain he and mom have been carrying around since they came back into my life. Uh, yeah, you might not want to think too much about that. It's not worth your time, Pete. Really, it's not. I've been so busy worrying about my feelings that I haven't really taken the time to consider what they were going through. The look in Richard's eyes, he really must have gone through a living hell for it to have left him so angry, so unbelievably bitter. I can't blame him for seeing the world through such a distorted mirror. But what if it's not so distorted? What if he's right about human nature? Let's face it. Carnage and Shriek are pretty strong arguments in his favor. No, I refuse to accept that. And that's the heroic Spider-Man I know. As I said in the last review, this is the Spider-Man we need back. If they want to save comics, bring back this Spider-Man. I've weathered a lot harder times, been face to face with my own fair share of devils. And I've managed to stay true to Uncle Ben's faith in people. Sure, there are some really twisted souls out there. The Cravens and the Doc Ox and Venoms. But the average people, I've dedicated my life to protecting. The Aunt Mays and Uncle Ben's of the world have never let me down. And uh, as if on cue, uh, complete chaos has broken out. Please stop. You're killing me. That's the general idea, pal. Now you just lay there nice and quiet. Ah, while you get your lights knocked out. Don't worry. I'll get you to a hospital. No chance. The whole city's gone crazy. Since that nut carnage has been all loose, it's like every bloodthirsty lunatic in New York has come crawling out of his hole. You can't stop them. Nobody can stop them. He's right about one thing. It's as if all these crazies have been inspired by Carnage. If just seeing him in action has set loose the darkest parts of their psyches. And if this is response is really starting to spread, then nobody's safe. Listen to me, all of you. You've got to stop this. You can't use everything that's been happening as an excuse to throw the, the law, common decency, out the window. Do you hear me? You've got to stop. Okay, 
You want to act like devils? Then I'll treat you like devils. I'm tired of always holding back, being cautious, trying so hard to draw a moral line that no one even sees anymore. From here on, I'll do whatever it takes to keep this city from going down in flames. And you hear me? From this moment on, you'll get no mercy from Spider-Man! And that, to me, is the most chilling cliffhanger of any Spider-Man story ever. Yeah, to me it is. He's, he's actually crossing the line and becoming everything he hates about Venom. And he's, and he's tempted to give up his morals. And when you see that, that is just more chilling than anything that's happening. To me, to me, this plays out a lot like The Dark Knight and The Dark Knight Rises. It, it does a great job. It has that same look into the dark, looking into the dark part of humanity and into society, but the, but the hero can't cross the line, even if, even if it means, even if he thinks that it will save everyone, and that it's really a battle for the hero's soul. And that is, uh, and so when he may, so when he says this, it's just the most chilling and just. It is, I think, the best cliffhanger in all of Spider-Man comics, and maybe my favorite, and what. One of my favorites, if not my favorite cliffhanger in all of comics. And this comic does a great job with the character work. It juxtaposes Carnage's family coming together with Peter's family falling apart and him losing his allies. And yeah, the cover was pretty much a lie since Black Cat doesn't get, doesn't get, since Carnage doesn't try to kill Black Cat at any point in this comic. But what it does have is even better. I give this a 9.5 out of 10. This is just a great comic book issue through and through.